Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly showcase just how fast On One Photo Raw 2023 is at completing some of the most difficult tasks photographers face when they're editing. When it comes to studio photography or even natural light portraits, giving the background a little more interest can really help make the image pop. With older versions of Photo Raw, we would have to manually find the background and separate that from our subject using manual masking. In the latest version of Photo Raw, you can now find the background instantly and add in textures or any creative scenes that you have. Let's add in an interesting background behind our portrait in less than two minutes using On One Photo Raw 2023. So inside of Photo Raw here, let's just go over to, <clears throat> so inside of Photo Raw to target the background behind our photograph, let's just use the Super Select AI tool. You can also grab it by hitting K on your keyboard. I can now hover over the different regions of my image and I can select them to modify them. I'll just select the background. It's covered in blue now. I'll right click it and I'll head down to my textures and I'll just select the textures filter. And if we head over here to our textures filter, you can see it's created that mask and it's only applying it to the background. Now with this textures filter, you can of course import your own textures with this import button or Photo Raw has an abundance of different textures that you can browse through in the category and texture menu. I've already imported my own texture here, so I'll just open up the category menu and I'll scroll down and I'll scroll down to my summer textures here, the on one summer textures. And in this texture menu, I think I'll choose this textures seven. and I'm really digging it. I may just pull up on the opacity a little bit more to make it a little stronger. And I think it's looking awesome. Let's just add another filter here and let's add on the LUTs filter to the entirety of the photograph just to give it a little bit of a color pop and it's this LUT blues and it's really helping to just even out the tone a little bit and I do like that cooling effect that it's applying to the scene. So let's hit the backslash key on the keyboard to view the original. This is the original, and this is after, just by clicking on the background and adding in a custom texture.